Super hot. Super hot. Anyone familiar with this sound? Well, definitely no. Great time manipulation game mechanic in this game. Super hot. So let's go together and join me on this adventure. Hi everyone, it's Sir Fadrik and welcome back to another glorious adventure in the game Mechanics Quest. In this quest, we go in and dive into great gameplay mechanics all around the game development world and try to code them using the Unity game engine and C Sharp. And the quest is not about the coding or using the engine but on the actual gameplay mechanic to see how this amazing mechanic got created and developed for these games. In the last adventure, we talked about the game mechanics of the enemy named Goomba in the Mario franchise, which move from left to right, right and just dive from stomping on its head. But now, we're gonna dive in some crazy mechanic that took the indie game development world by storm, and it's the time manipulation in Superhot. For anyone who don't know Superhot, Superhot is a pretty amazing game, it's a first person shooter, but it has some very cool things. Time moves only when you move. It's a gameplay in slow motion and you just have to plan your moves right to don't get hit. And after shooting the gun you have to move so the bullet can reach the enemy. It's a very simple game but very effective. And before you start, if you like these types of videos, don't forget to leave your suggestions in the comments below about any game mechanics that you find interesting for me to code and consider subscribing. But now let's get started. So the same as last time, we start by creating the test scene. The scene where we will test our game mechanic in. And set up this scene, I used two types of game characters. I used characters that stand still and do nothing, and they used characters that move around. To just check this scene out, you can see that we have two characters that move around, and we have stationary targets, and of course we have the player target, or the player character you can say, that is just following the mouse and move towards it, and can shoot. And just a small explanation here, I'm not doing a full explanation for the whole code because I don't care about the mover code or the shooter code, it's very simple and well documented and commented and will be uploaded on the GitHub along with the project and it's very easy to understand and if you have any questions about them, just ask me in the comments below or join our kingdom over on Discord. But now, let's focus on the, on the main game mechanic, which is the time manipulation. Here, we have the main thing about time that that is, the time moves when the player moves. So we need to build a script around checking if the player presses any button or not. And to do that, all we need is a simple update function that have two functionality. One, if the player presses any key, the time accelerates. And if the player didn't press any key, the time slows down. And to move the time, we use the simple massf.moveToWard.TimeScale to move the time scale to one, if the player presses any key and to move the time scale to 0, 0 0.05 if the time if the player didn't press any key and we chose this small amount to let the game run in a very slow motion and don't freeze in its place after that we need to adjust the time dot fix at that time to make the game a bit more smooth and i found that 0 0.02 is the best amount to make the game as smooth as possible after a lot of experimentation and that's it. Now, after implementing this code, we have one problem. The what if player pressed a key that is not meant to be pressed? Not a control key, for example, O or P or space bar, something like that. To fix this problem, we added a simple list that contains all the key codes that are allowed to be pressed. And in the update function, we just go through all the list and check if the key is pressed or not. And in Unity, in the inspector, we can find that now we have three control buttons, the W and the S for the player movement, and the mouse zero or the left mouse button to shoot. All, all other keys are not allowed to be implemented in the code. To recap the script, we have a list that contains all the control keys that are allowed to be pressed. Second, we have a simple update function that contains two stuff. If the player presses a key or if the player didn't. And to do that, to use the mass function dot move toward to move the time scale to 1 if the player presses any key and move toward to 0.05 if the player didn't press any key. And we apply it with smoothing the time scale and the code is done. Let's test it in Unity. In the testing, we can see now that the time is moving very very slow. 
and when we move to this by pressing W or S, we will see that the time is moving a bit faster. And when we shoot, we can just see after we shooting one bullet that the time get fast a bit, then get back to be slow. So we can shoot five four bullets to the stationary enemies and just move to which the bullets flies and hit the target. And now I hope you like this small and simple tutorial on how to implement the time manipulation mechanic in super hot into your games. This mechanic of course works in 2D, 3D, it's universal because it's playing with the time scale, not with the actual time. But be sure to use the time dot fixed delta time while doing time scale to apply a bit of smoothing and always change the fixed delta time to the time scale by 0 0.02 to make the game a bit more smooth. After many experimentation, I found that this number is the best. I hope you enjoyed this amazing adventure and if you made it this far, please consider subscribing and more importantly, leave your suggestion in the comments below. I really like to know what kind of game mechanics you are aspiring to make or you're struggling with for me to experiment in. And don't forget to join our kingdom over on Discord. And in the end, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and see you all in the next adventure on this amazing quest. Super hot, super hot, super hot, super.